Hello guys and welcome in this video. Uh, in this video I'm going to be so glad to share with you guys the users, uh, the side effects and a lot of information regarding warfarin medicine. So before starting this video guys please subscribe into my channel and help me with hitting the like button please guys. That will help me to do more videos uh, in, in my channel. Uh, before starting, we do not buy or sell medicine in any way and we never encourage the use of medicines without referring to a doctor. We explain some information about medicines and give simplification and only. We repeat, never use the drug without consulting a doctor. So, warfarin. Um, so, warfarin is a type of medicine known as an anticoagulant. It makes your blood flow through your veins more easily. This means your blood will be less likely to make a dangerous blood clot. Warfarin is used to treat blood clots and help prevent future blood clots if you have had one previously, such as a blood clot in the leg, deep vein thrombosis or DVT, a blood clot in the lungs, pulmonary embolism. It's also used to prevent blood clots if you are at high risk of having them in the future. This includes people with an irregular heartbeat, atrial fibrillation, a replacement or mechanical heart valve, a blood clotting disorder such as thrombophilia, a higher chance of having a blood clot after an operation. Warfarin is only available on prescription. It comes as a tablet and as a liquid that you swallow. Some information. You will usually take warfarin once a day in the evening. The most common side effect of warfarin is bleeding more easily than normal, such as having nose blades, bleeding gums, a heavier periods in bruising. This is most likely to happen if you are unwell. You need to have blood tests at least every 12 weeks. Well, you are taking warfarin to make sure your dose is right. It's normal for your warfarin dose to go up or down. The dose can depend on lots of different things, including what you eat and drink, what other medicines you're taking, and if you become unwell. Your doctor or pharmacist will give you an anticoagulant alert card. Always card this with you to it to your doctor or don't test before. You have any medical or dental procedures, including a vaccination and drugging appointment with dental hygienist. Now, guys, I'm gonna be showing you who can and cannot take warfarin. So, who can take warfarin? Most adults and children can take warfarin. Who may not be able to take warfarin? Warfarin is not suitable for some people. To make sure it's safe for you, tell your doctor if you have ever had an allergic reaction to warfarin or any other medicine, are trying to get pregnant or you are already pregnant, have liver or kidney problems, have had an affection of the leaning of your heart known as endocarditis, have a health problem that causes bleeding such as stomach ulcer or make you bruise easily, or have a high blood pressure hypertension. So how and when to take warfarin? It's important to take warfarin as your doctor advises. Dosage and strength. The usual warfarin dose for adult is 10 mg a day for the first two days, then between 3 mg and 9 mg a day after that. The usual warfarin dose for children depends on how much they weigh. Warfarin tablets come in four different strengths. The tablet and the boxes they came in a different colors to make it easier for you to take the right dose. The strength in colors are 0.5 mg white tablet, 1 mg brown tablet, 3 mg blue tablet, and 5 mg is pink tablet. Your dose may be made up of combination of different colored tablets. Warfarin also comes as a liquid where 1 ml is equal to 1 mg brown tablet. Warfarin liquid come with a plastic C range to help you measure the right amount. Your warfarin dose may change often, especially in the first few weeks of treatment, until your doctor finds a dose that right for you. How to take it? 
<laughs> you would usually take all 14 ounces a day in the evening, take it at around the same time each day. This is so that you need to change the dose after a routine blood test. You can do this the same day rather than waiting until the following morning. Orphorin does not usually upset your stomach, so you can take it with or without food. How long to take it for? If you have had a blood clot in your leg or lungs, you will probably take short course for foreign for 6 weeks to 6 months. If you take Orphorin to reduce your risk of having a blood clot in your future or because you keep getting blood clots, it's likely your treatment will be longer than 6 months, maybe even for the rest of your life. Regular blood tests. The aim of foreign treatment is to make your blood clot more slowly, not to stop it from clotting completely. Getting this balance right means your dose of foreign must be carefully monitored. You will have a regular blood test called the International Normalized Ratio (INR). It measures how long it takes your blood to clot. The longer your blood takes to clot, the higher the INR. Most people take will have a ratio of between 2 and 3.5. This means that blood takes 2 to, to 3.5 times longer to clot than usual. <laughs> the dose of what for you need depends on your blood test result. If the blood test result has gone up or down, your what for in dose will be increased or decreased. You will have the blood test at your GP surgery or local hospitals and tickle clinic. You will have a test every one or two days when you first start taking warfarin, then once twice a week until your ratio is stable at your target level. Once your blood test results are stable, you might only need a blood test up to once every 12 weeks. You might need blood tests more often than normal if you accept other new medicines or when you are ill. The low bulk and alert card. When you start taking warfarin, you may be given a yellow vulc anticoagulant. This explains your treatments. There's also a section for you to write down and keep a record of your warfarin dose. It's a good idea to take your yellow book with all to all your warfarin appointment. You will also be given an anticoagulant alert card. Carry this with you all the time. It tells healthcare professionals that you are taking an anticoagulant. This can be useful for them to know in case of medical emergency. If you need any medical or dental treatment, show your antigolant alert card to the nurse, doctor, or dentist beforehand. This includes before you have vaccination and routine sessions with the dental hygienist. Your doctor may advise you to stop taking warfarin or reduce your dose for a short time before your treatment. If you have lost your alert card or were not given one, ask your doctor or anti-coagulant clinic for one. That was the video. Please, guys, if you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. Thank you very much and take care.